civil rights movement brought together men of power, some inspired, Thank God Almighty, we are free at others defied. But they're dissatisfied with these Negroes who have been sitting around here posing as leaders and actually making the problem worse instead of making the problem better. But one man stood alone, bringing the power of the boardroom and the White House to the people. The man was Whitney Young, the former executive director of the National Urban League, a leading civil rights organization. Whitney Young was both a strategist, an architect of the Great Society programs. I think it was under Whitney that corporate America was comfortable. I don't think any other leader, you know, could have done what he did. But we also need, at the same time, if this is to have any meaning, uh, a re-examination of the education of white people, to teach white people what it means to live in a democratic society. Uh, I think Whitney was a great leveler. He had a way of using his sense of humor to highlight the little differences and have people laugh it off. Whenever the group met with the president, uh, Whitney Young was there. They couldn't do without him. He was called a relevant radical by some, and Uncle Tom by others a power broker, a doer, an enigma. Even his untimely death at age 49 was puzzling. President Nixon giving his eulogy said, Young wasn't a patient man, but he knew the value of patience. My name is Bonnie Boswell, and to me he was simply Uncle Whitney. Strong, protective, and funny. He changed the nation, creating thousands of new jobs and opening the doors of corporate America to minorities and women, yet few today know his name. His story needs to be told. At 19, my heroes were people like Stokely Carmichael. Older leaders like Uncle Whitney were simply too patient. I often disagree with him over strategy. But as the years have gone by and the struggle for equality continues, I've started to ask, who was Whitney Young? His power was based on the ability to unite people, not divide them. Was his message more important today now than ever? And why, despite a national profile, had he become a footnote to history? With that, my journey to find Uncle Whitney began. <laughs>